Okay, so this is a beat sheet. Um, again, like at, at Lowe's, I buy these 10 foot pieces of um, molding and cut them into four pieces. It makes two beat sheets. I will screw, drill a hole, cut out a two by two foot piece of sheet and staple it on here. Um, and so the idea of a beat sheet, I guess we should have bought these sticks in advance, but usually there's sticks lying around here. Oh, that's exactly what's better. You don't want to get a rotten stick that has bark that's going to fall off. You'll probably figure that out. But yeah, a stick like half to three quarters of an inch in diameter that's not rotten works great. So the idea here, instead of all of that painstaking counting of leaves, um, carefully turning things over, is it's much more immediate and fun and accessible, especially for kids, <laughs> is you hold it under a branch, you whack it 10 times. Ten That's times. our standardization. Ten times. <laughs> Everyone can remember 10 times, ten right? Yeah, so hard. Uh, the hard part is what takes calibration, right? So yeah. uh, you, don't want, you, want, you don't want people like kind of doing this. You need it to be, I guess what I would say is vigorous but not destructive. Right? So, and part of this depends on the, part of it depends on the tree species because some of them have really sensitive um, you know, petioles and things that it'll break off and other ones just require a bit more. But um, <clears throat> so, there's, so there's two things. One is remembering to hit it 10 times. But then the, the second thing is we, we actually need to record. So then at that point we're looking and now it's just a matter of seeing things that are on a white sheet. It tends to be much simpler and straightforward, much more likely to catch cryptic caterpillars and things like that. Um, and so we would enter them in the app the exact same way, right? Um, the one extra thing we do with the beat sheet survey um, is enter the total number of leaves that we surveyed that were kind of poised above that beat sheet. So I might hold them after I'm done, I hit it, I look, I record all the things I saw, beetles, whatever. <coughs> when I'm done, I'm gonna shake it out, and then I just put it back up and kind of see, okay, how many leaves actually were over this that I hit? And it's not always gonna be 50, and depending on the tree species, it might be 15 if they're really large leaves, or five big leaf magnolia leaves, or it might be, you know, 80 sweet gum leaves that are all kind of in these big bunches or something. Um, so there's a space in the app to enter that. <laughs>